everybody. I wanted to make a video on the cost to run a dehumidifier. So today I'm going to use the Frigidaire. This is a 50 pint model which is pretty average. It's a pretty standard size. Um, so I thought this would be a really good unit to test what the power draw is. And the previous owners of our house never ran one. They just ran the air conditioning. Uh, which I know isn't cheap. So I kind of wanted to run this test just to see for my own two cents. Would we be better off running air conditioning or this? So what I've got is I've got a kilowatt unit here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this plugged in. So the unit is off. And interesting to note, it still has somewhat of a power draw even when it's off. Um, so we're going to go ahead, fire this up, I'm going to keep it in watts, and then we will do a little 24-hour energy test here to see what this costs to run. So go ahead, we'll fire it up. It is on high, and the tank is empty, so we should get um, a good day out of this here of constant run time. So it's on high, and we'll run over here. And it is currently drawing 67 watts, and I can tell that the uh, compressor is not on. So let's go ahead, turn that down. And we will just kind of let it go here and see what it does. But um, yeah, kind of excited to see what this, this does. So we'll be back in 24 hours. All right, so as you may be able to hear, the uh, air comp or the compressor is kicked on now. So instead of the 60 some watts we were drawing, we are now drawing 434. Um, so we'll come back, as I said, in about 24 hours and see how it is doing. Okay, so it has been 24 hours on this test, and as you can see, this is still cranking away and the compressor is still running. So let's go ahead and just shut this off. And actually, before we do, let's take a look at our wattage here. Wattage is holding steady at 433. Um, so let's go ahead and shut this off. So that is off. And come on down here. And as we can see here, so we've got 23 hours and just about 59 minutes. And we consumed 10.25 kilowatts. So that is actually quite a bit more than I was expecting. Uh, so as far as energy costs go, as far as that is, um, we'll take our 10.25 and we are at 11 cents. Per kilowatt hour so that is about one dollar and thirteen cents per day to run this which kind of surprises me that it's that much and if I average out that we run this about half the year on uh, it might even be a little bit more than that but we'll just you know we'll just say roughly 180 days Wow that's two hundred and three dollars a year to run this thing at the level that we're running it at. So that is, uh, that's really shocking. And it's actually kind of getting me to think here about maybe um, either leaving windows open when it's dry enough outside or maybe even running the air conditioning instead of the, the um, dehumidifier. But wow, $203, that is just crazy. So I hope this information helped. Um, a good tip here would be is not to run it full time or most dehumidifiers have a setting on them. Um, so this one you, you have a timer um, that you can do. So you can have it just alternate on and off every two hours on, two hours off. You can do it by uh, humidity level. So if you crank the level up, um, so it's instead of at the 40% I usually keep this at, if I leave it more at like 60 or 70%, that should keep the compressor from running um, as often. So 
yeah something to think about 203 dollars over six month period is just crazy i cannot believe it takes that much so i hope this was useful to you and please subscribe